So what I'm hearing you say, Debbie, is that you were not pleased with your brother's life, and you felt that you should insult him by telling him off or by destroying the situation with a future wife. You felt that you had the right to steal his mail. You figured you had the right to take his property without allowing him the right to, well, post his own bail, if you will, and open. You're the one who called police that put him in jail. In other words, it's your call to police that got him sexually assaulted all this time. So let me ask you as your pastor, this is a confidential setting. What is it that you plan to say to Jesus when you stand before him at the end of your life? Are you going to tell him all the ills that you've chosen to have for your little brother, or are you planning to let him know you're sorry for your choices, for how you've harmed him, for how you foolish you were about the world around you, because you were so busy in your own life all the time that you never had time to be a sibling to him, but when he needed you most as a family member just to help him get through the loss of his late spouse, you just thought you'd harm him. 